The McAllen International Airport and seven other South Texas airports are now utilizing full body imaging equipment aimed at increasing security on airplanes. Federal Security Director for TSA Leo Vasquez explains. The technology that we're employing here in South Texas is called backscatter technology. What that is in, in a summary format is a, it's a very low energy x-ray beam that's rapidly scanned over the surface of your body. The reflection of that is captured, digitized, and that's what appears on a monitor that shows anomalies, any, any object that would be hidden underneath the clothing or in, inside the clothing would be very obvious. This is a step up from the walk-through metal detectors because it allows security officers to detect metal and non-metal objects. Vasquez says several steps are taken to ensure the full body scanning procedures protect the public's privacy. Well, that's a huge concern for us, always has been, and one of the things that we've had a lot of thoughtful people looking at that to make sure that we're doing it right. There's a number of things that are inherent with the technology here that will go a long way to protect uh, privacy of individuals. First of all, the machines cannot store or in any way transmit uh, the, uh, the picture, okay? Every time a person goes through, that picture is taken, is visible at the moment that person is there. When the next person comes through, that previous picture disappears. Officers are also briefed and cautioned not to take any cell phones or cameras inside the screening room. And the other part that we do is this, very important. The person who is looking at the image, at the monitor, is apart from, it's, a, it's away from the checkpoint itself. So that person can never see who's going through. On the other hand, the officer who's looking at the passenger and dealing with the passenger cannot see the monitor. That information is communicated by, by, by radio. Male, one anomaly, upper left leg. It's important to note that use of this equipment is optional at this point. We have it as a primary device, okay? We will uh, we'll encourage people to go through this device because it gives us better capability, as I mentioned. But someone who doesn't want to go through it for whatever reason will go through the regular walk-through metal detector and will do appropriate security protocols to ensure that that there's no prohibited items that are going to be carried aboard that airport. Anyone who takes issue with the implementation of the backscatter technology is welcome to contact the Transportation Security Administration. There's a huge research and development program that's ongoing all the time, trying to stay one step ahead of the threat. This represents the culmination of some of that, and it's a, it's a, you know, it's a work in progress. It never stops. I'm Ray Pedras, and you're watching the McAllen Cable Network.